stellar shot tonight, but here's something to think about. This is lake effect rain, but what if this current system had brought snow instead? Meteorologist Alan Nosov ran the numbers and he shows us. The lake effect machine has been turned on. We've seen so much rain here, including outside our News 5 studios in downtown Cleveland. But imagine if this was all snow. Let's go inside the studio to find out. In just 12 hours, parts of Northeast Ohio saw more than four inches of rain, and these are actual rainfall totals. In Madison, 4.37 inches of rain. That bullseye, that fire hose of moisture, classic lake effect machine. Now watch this magic. Three, two, one, bam. If it was snow, and this is using a simplified ratio, we'd be talking almost four feet of snow in Madison because typically all you have to do is multiply the amount of rain you get by 10 and that's what it would be with snow. Sometimes if it's fluffier snow, it would be more. If it's more compact icy snow, it'd be less. But for this explanation, I'm gonna use 10 to one. And you can see that bullseye here. Radar estimates are even higher in this white color that's more than four feet of snow if it were snow. 53 inches to be exact by radar estimates in Fairport Harbor. And if that sounds familiar, think back to last November when we saw wild totals up in Ashtabula County. Areas like Saybrook saw almost 64 inches of snow at the end of November last year. Does that mean it could happen again this winter? You want to stay tuned right here with the Power 5 team. I'm Power 5 meteorologist Alan Nosef.